and I want to be able to put in that look of Belgian blocks around um, edging, you know, edging. Edging used to be really hard to do. You had to, you know, like dig a trench and it was just like way over my pay, pay grade. I could not manage to do that so it looked nice. How about around your mailbox? Wouldn't it be beautiful around that focus tree that you have? around a garden bed and then that way you can go ahead and you know keep everything clean well this is coolest i remember this from last year it now has a sale price today and the sale price will save you seven dollars the sale price unfortunately is just for today it's going to go away at the end of the day so i'm going to ask you to really think about how many sets you may need you may need more than one you know you, most likely you'll need a couple of these so take advantage of the sale price on this and the option using any credit card paypal debit card for easy pays at less than eight dollars all right what are you going to get you're going to get this isn't that cool no dig edging. It looks like stone or granite or something like that. You're going to get 12 pieces of edging. Then you're going to get 18 of these anchor stakes. And what you're going to do is you are going to decide how you want to use them. And you're going to use a mallet to put this in the ground. Okay. And if the ground's hard, um, doing it after it rains, that's also a little easier or just to water the ground and sometimes that'll be enough to break it up. But you also, by the way, can manipulate these to go around a corner. So it, you know, just doesn't have to be, you saw there were circles around the, the mailbox and things like that. All right, let me invite Amy Barrickman is here. Hi, Amy. Nice to see you again. Hello. Happy gardening. So good to see you. I'm so excited. The garden season is coming and now is the time in my design office when we are planning, we're gathering all those materials because it's going to be here before we know it. Absolutely. And when you can get it on sale, Amy, these are genius, really genius. Talk to me about what they are. Aren't they? You know, in the past, when I was working on a high-end design project, Belgian block is always part of the equation. And that's what we use to make anything picture framed we use it any time that we want a bed to look nice but it really is cost prohibitive because yes. you have to bring out a crew you have to dig trenches and the material themselves are crazy this is the solution for most people these were formed they were cast from actual blocks so they all have this unique very realistic look and because they are made of this flexible no dig edging it is so easy to put them in anywhere. They go right together. And as we saw in the image, they go right into the ground with stakes. All you need is a rubber mallet and it is ridiculously easy. I know it's joyful. <laughs> it really is actually, what a good word because I put them in my own garden and I uh -huh. thought that felt too easy. It really is like, you feel like you're getting away with something. Uh -huh. How can I do a garden project in 15 minutes? and get a look like that. It doesn't seem, it seems too good to be true. But the good news is it's not. Just make sure you it's don't miss not. out on it. And you know, it won't come up because you're gonna get 18 of these stakes. You, you saw the way we slid it together. Um, Amy, if I don't need all 15 feet, do I just trim it where, you know, when I'm finished at the end, That's if you will? That's absolutely right. Okay. They go, you can, they can be trimmed really easily with your garden shears. Okay. You can clip off however many you need. And since they come in sections of three and they're you can manipulate them to go around curves, it's really easy to do. I mean, there you can see the way that she's connected them. And then of course, each one will have the opportunity and there's the rubber mallet. Do not use a hammer, use a rubber mallet and that will be good enough. And you can put it in your mulch. Amy, where, you know, I know you've worked on lots of projects, including your own home. Suggestions on where we might want to put these? So many places. These look amazing against your driveway. That oh, is that very good. high end look that yes. we're used to seeing. But don't forget about using them around beds or flowers, around your mailbox. Think about it around a hot nice. tub, mm. a, any area, a fire pit area, any mm -hmm. area you want to define. That's something in garden design that designers know is a trick. It's something so easily overlooked, but when you do it, it makes it look 
so professionally put together. Amy, you use the word framing it. I think that is such a great way to say it. Remember, you're going to get a 15 feet, enough of these, and then you're going to get all of these. I always call these 10 stakes or spikes. You're going to get enough yeah. of the spikes so that you'll be good to go on these. $7.85, we'll get them home. Please make sure you order as many as you want. Um, and a lot of you are doing exactly that, as many sets as you want, because when the sale price goes away, then you'll be like, no, I should have bought that second set, because you'll like the look of it. Right, Amy? I mean, We're you're going to so, do one yes. area, and then you're going to look at over here, and you're going to go, I should have bought more. I could go over there. And we're all used to things going out of stock these days. So this yes. is something I really recommend on stocking up on now so that you have more than enough. Thanks, Amy. Have a really great Thank day. Thank you. Have a great day. All right. So let's talk about those wonderful Barbara King 